Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the approvals in the supplier area in Fusion applications. So we'll try to understand the list of approvals which are available in the supplier area and how do we configure them. And there's some of the tables as well as queries to understand the approval status of a particular request. So these are the five approvals which are there with respect to supplier. The first one is you know, external supplier registration. Next one is internal supplier registration. Third one is a profile change request approval. And then you also have internal profile change request approval. And the final one is spent authorization. So for all of them, like uh, you can change them via using a task configuration, using FSM or a PPM. We'll show that in the next screen. But on the high level, these are the five approvals which are available in the supplier area. So the first approach is, let, let us say if you, want, if you want to modify or if you want to view the existing rules of any of the supplier approval workflow, what you can do is you can go to setup and maintenance, setup procurement, then search, manage personnel approval. You should be able to see the list of tasks with respect to the supplier approval. We can observe here supplier negotiation approvals, supplier like uh, internal supplier registration approvals, all these things. And similarly, the other the other approach, right? So the other, the other approach is you know using this particular process, we generally call it as BPM worklist. And this this initial approach we call it as FSM approach. I'll show you in the screen now. I mean from the instance. So the second approach, this is using the BPM worklist, and wherein you can just search. To navigate to this screen, right? You can just navigate to setup and maintenance task list. Search the search the manage task configurations for procurement. It shows all the list of approval workflows which are available in the procurement application. You can search with one of the workflow names, supplier internal registration approval. You should be able to get this particular screen. Now, one more very important thing is like for the unlike the, in the earlier approval workflows which we have discussed, like AP invoice and GL general. Whenever you want to view the status of any workflow, we generally navigate to tools and transaction console, but that approach will not work in the supplier process. I mean to say, if at all you have registered a supplier and you are submitted for approval, and if you want to know what is the status of it, is it pending or it's submitted or rejected or errored out, what is status? So from the transaction console, you cannot get any of that information. So then how do you get it? So what you can do is you can just navigate to the registration the, the place where you have a screen called manage supplier registration request search with your request id or maybe the supplier name with which you have registered and then in that you'll find an approval tab click on that you can find the state status or a stage of it to whom it is pending what is the status of it all those information okay now so there are a couple of tables which i want to discuss even the earlier sessions also we discussed the last two tables with respect to their supplier and the all the remaining or remaining all the tables or if you know like a bpm tables you can ignore the first table all the remaining or bpm related or workflow related tables so out of all these tables there is one very important table we'll show you the query for that which is called workflow task history so using this workflow task history what you can find out is assume that you have registered a supplier you submitted for approval then if you want to know from the DB, from the database, if you want to know what is the status of it, with whom it is pending, when it was submitted, all the information you can get it from this particular table. And the input what it requires is you need to pass the identification key. So from where you get the identification key, when you register a supplier, the supplier details are get stored in the supplier registration table, POZ supplier registration table. From this, you can get the registration ID. And you can pass that unique key to this particular query so what infra workflow task history and i just mentioned the process name as approval supplier registration request so that you know like uh, you can fine tune the query and it will be a little bit fast as we provided the process name okay now we'll just try to navigate all this information from the screen so now the first thing is let us try to register a supplier i'll just go to home and navigate to procurement Supplier, click on the task list, register supplier. 
So it navigated to a new screen. And of course, we know that this is a VPCS screen. Let's say, I'll mention the name as approval trainings. And I'll just ignore the remaining information. I'll try to enter the information, first name, last name, test at the rate. Okay, so now almost our supplier registration process is almost done. And it says thus, this registration is submitted. Now let us see the status of it. So from the back end, what I'll do is I'll just go to the list of tables which I've already designed, the queries which was designed. So let me navigate there. I'll just click on edit. So now you can observe this information like uh, just see the last table. This is supplier registration table. We have a supplier registration ID and you can observe this. This is one of the supplier name which we provided approval trainings and this aura trainings was the one which I registered earlier and these two particular suppliers were not approved yet. And that's the reason you should not be able to find the information from the POZ supply table. If you even try to find the information, you'll not find that information. And now what you can do is now let us say, let us say if you want to find out the status of it, you can just click on manage supplier registration. And you can observe here, there are two suppliers which are pending approval. Now let us say the one which we submitted just now, just click on this one. And if at all, if you want on the status of it, just scroll down and here in the down somewhere, you'll see an option called approval history click on the submit here it shows the list of hierarchy nothing but the at which level it is pending so we can observe this is the first one which is pending with a calvin roth let's say i'll try to log in with a calvin roth in another browser now just click here and you can click on the notification bell icon and you can observe here supplier registration request for 31004 for approval training spending and just click on approve and now let's see what happens I'll go back to the screen and here, let us say from the BPM worklist point of view, if you want to know the information, I'll just search with this particular one. So the first table, right? As of now, it was not showing any data because I have not provided any input. Now I have provided the input here and you can observe here. These are the list of approvals and you know, like I can just expand the list and you can find out that this Calvin Roth has approved it. So somewhere you should be able to see the approval information. And you can also able to find out who submitted, who approved it, and when it was approved, and all this information also you can find it. Right? So this is how you know like it can try to find out, or maybe other one. Now let us say we'll try to navigate to the same screen. Right, so now you can observe here. 
So this person approved and it went to, you know, like auto approved for the remaining one. So this is how you can find out the information. And now coming to the task configuration, right? Let us say as of now, we have just seen how do we run it and how do we check the data from the backend table. Now we'll try to understand how do we configure it. Let us say when you get a requirement, you may need to modify it according to your custom requirements, right? So as I said, there are two approaches available. You can navigate to setup and maintenance, let's say. And here we select the procurement. <laughs> and then what we do is we'll navigate here. Let's say the first one, right? Main is supplier registration approval. Or this one, manage internal supplier. So either you can, if you're at all for the internal, you have to use this one. For the external, you have to use the other one, right? So now let's say I'll just search with this task. Manage internal supplier registration approval. Click on this one. Now this particular approach, right? If at all, if you want to create any rule or disable any rule or delete or modify it, right? So this is called FSM approach, wherein you using the fusion screen. Now let us say if I just click on edit rules, you can modify the rules within this particular screen. This is called a FSM approach. Or the approach to which I was telling you, right? Like uh, there was another approach, which is a BPM workflow approach, BPM worklist approach. And for this one, what I'll do is I'll just search with this task, manage task configuration. And you can just click on cancel for this one as of now. And here you click on task list. And here you just search with the manage task configuration for procurement. This will navigate to the BPM work list. But what is the difference between this and that is this is a, a different way of. In this one, you'll find a little bit a different uh, a view, approach of modifying the rules so more or less at the end of the day whatever you define in the fsm approach that has to get configured here that will get deployed to bpm work list so depending upon your convenience you can up can follow the approach one or approach two and yes both of them has its own pros and cons it depends upon your ability on that or expertise i mean to say now i'll just click on percentile here or if at all, if you know the process name, you can simply mention the process name. Let's say in our case, I know the process name of this external supply registration. I simply provide this one. Yeah, if at all, if it takes time, but best thing is you provide the name of your particular process name so that it will be easy. Let's say I try to provide another screen, probably. Click on this one, search it. Yes, we got the process now and if at all if you want to modify it you can click on this pencil icon <laughs> click on assign is and now this particular one right the one which i highlighted it is called stage in this first stage we have three participants and the second stage we have three participants and everywhere it shows the pencil icon wherein you can modify it convert it and delete it and if at all if you want to add any rule or delete any rule you click on the business rule, it shows a list of rule sets and depending upon the requirements, you have to modify them. Or let us say the best approach is always is like a, if at all, if your particular workflow is already configured with a standard process, so don't modify the existing standard process. You create a new, new participants and add it accordingly. If it is simple, I guess you can modify your standard process and do it. Or if it is complex, the best thing is you create new participants add up the logic in that and disable the standard one so it all depends upon the requirement so this is all about you know like uh, how do we configure the supplier approvals in oracle fusion thank you